Welcome back, guys. Back here on the water, I'm doing a lot of prototyping right now for the fall. As you can see, I got I got hammer tents, I got rods all over this boat. We're summer brush pile fishing, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And uh, it's gonna be a warm one. So we get out here early. We get out here early, all the time, get out here early. And uh, off the water by 10 o'clock at the latest. And this is one of those few days that I'm not gonna be guiding, so it's just fantastic, an opportunity for me to get out there and uh, well, I'll do some fishing myself and to do some of these prototype stuff. I love it. So let's get to it. Doesn't get any better than this. Uh, yeah, a lot going on there. I would like to highlight one of the new sponsors for 2023, and that's the resort. So if you're ever here on Lake of Egypt, please consider staying at the resort. There's some 43 pound fishing, and it's a great facility right here on the water. If you've got kids, this is the place to go. I'm here to show you. All right, so if you guys have been with following three pound fishing, you know that I love casting at them. And 30 foot is my magic number. So I always usually stay away from any type of structure, any type of fish, by about 30 feet. Um, to me, that's the optimal location. So there's your first pile right there, and I love casting. You become an expert at 30 feet when you do this every single day. Um, but we're looking on these opening casts just to get their attention. Wake them up, so to speak. So there it is dropping in. We'll whip it around, see if we have any really aggressive fish, which usually you do this time of year. Usually they'll come just flying at it. Start the episode off, I bet you we get one right here. I bet you we get one right here. Sometimes I'll play with it a little bit, a little jig action, just to get them fired up. Look at this guy come out. Oh, that is the hammer 10 putting a hurting on him. That's probably a good fish too. That is a good fish. Yeah, slab. Absolute slab. Wow. I hope you guys can appreciate that. Look at that. Right there, the hog fishing emblem right there. Boom. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hammer 10, sniping braid, all these great things, putting fish in the boat. That's all that matters. We go waking one up in the center maybe that's yep here he comes here he comes oh baby you were supposed to be there at the end of that one Oh, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Slabalicious, just drawing it right across it. Now, every pile is going to be made up of, you know, your, your aggressive fish and your semi-aggressive and then your not so aggressive. You have to decide how long you want to wait to play with those not so aggressive fish. I prefer to jump from pile to pile and grab the ones that are aggressive and move on. But, you know, oh, I had him for a little bit. But, you know, everybody's different. I, I mean, sometimes I fight for really big fish. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll switch it up to a smaller bait. I'll switch it up to a, a hair jig. Um, all my hair jigs are working great on the lake. Um, but overall, if I want to catch some fish, you know, I, I'm moving to the next, I'm moving to the next game in town, which is the next pile. During early summer fishing, we move, move, move. Um, and that's kind of the name of the game. But you don't have to, you know, there are they are way more aggressive at this point, you know, obviously, so that you can usually stay for a decent amount of time. Look at this, I got this guy right now and I'm just playing with him. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I had it, in, he had it in his mouth the whole time. He was a good fish too. 
Probably should have stuck it right there, but I just have fun. When you're out here, just have fun with it, so. And there we go. And there's a good fish there. There's a good fish there. Ugh. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go. Mmm. Look how beautiful that is, folks. Look just like how beautiful that is. That's a good fish too. Thick back, thick back we call them. Mm -mm -mm. How beautiful that fish is. Those are two I was keeping for pictures. We're just gonna, you know, we give those back. We always give them back. Let's catch some more fish. Um, Hammer 10 has been flying off the shelf. Been very excited about that. This is just truly an incredible 10 footer. Um, I know some people get tired of me talking about products and such, but when there's something like this that just, I mean, you just, if you can't appreciate the, the look of that, the, the diameter width there, the, the solidness of this 10 footer, um, I'm just trying to help you out. It's just awesome. Mm, vertical jigging, good fish too. Look at that. Oh, baby. And that's with a 10 footer. You can do it with just a 10 footer. Look at that slab. Good night. All right, guys, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to bring you back to the bait shop. If we all remember when my prop broke, it broke a Grenada. And I sent a picture that actually a video on it of changing the prop. Well, I went ahead and purchased a new prop. Well, anyway, uh, there's a whole story behind this prop. Let's go back there. I'm going to show it to you. It's finished. I want you guys to see how great of a job uh, the prop shop did with this Fury 4. The Fury. Check this thing out. It is immaculate. And it's now going to be used as a backup. A backup for my boat. So, which is nice. It's kind of nice to have something you can count on that it'll be there so check out the prop shop they truly are an awesome group um, and this prop will be used you know as something I can feel comfortable with if I uh, need a backup so check them out really great people there no doubt about it appreciate you guys for watching another episode of three pound fishing check out the hammer 10 sniping braid the new hair jigs the combo hair jigs are freaking awesome you can buy one at a time at 250 a pop so um, and now at the website, anything over $200, it's free shipping. So you don't have to worry about it. Appreciate you guys. Have a great one. Let's do this.